Hey guys, it's Graham over at GrahamCochran.com. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks for checking out the blog or checking out this video on YouTube. Uh, I want to do something different today for a blog post. I want to help answer a uh, reader's question uh, and just change it up and hopefully explain some things that might be helpful to you as you're uh, looking to buy home recording gear or use your gear appropriately. Um, that's something I hope to do more of in the future. So if you have any questions, please hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, shoot me an email. Uh, I'll try to answer it on a blog post in the future. Right now I've got a question from Dan from Facebook. He says, uh, Graham, I never realized that Pro Tools LE had so much to it. Uh, I was equating it to Cubase LE, which I have and is very limited. I am now using Sonar Home Studio with a Tascam interface, and it seems I spend more time messing with the software than creating. Yeah, I've been there. Do you think it makes sense at this point to try and move into a Pro Tools setup? Well, Dan, it's a great question. Uh, there's a couple things there. One, you're right, there's a misconception a lot of times with Pro Tools LE. Uh, it sounds a lot like Cubase LE. Cubase is a recording software that has a full featured version, okay? It kind of costs hundreds of dollars and it's got everything you need. It's great. Uh, Cubase LE is a free version of the software that they package with a lot of audio interfaces you buy. So they hope that you get it, you learn it a little bit, you see its limitations, and so you upgrade to the full version. Pro Tools LE uh, is not a stripped down, limited version of Pro Tools software. It is full featured, it does everything you need it to do, everything it says it can do. Um, it's basically just the native version of Pro Tools, meaning it runs just on your computer's processing power. So if you have a really fast computer, you can be able to have more tracks and more juice and run more plugins versus Pro Tools HD, which runs off of accelerator cards that go into your uh, desktop that give it basically more horsepower and it can run super stable no matter how fast or slow, in a sense, your computer is. Um, you, you don't want HD. You're, you're going to have to spend tens of thousands of dollars to get an HD system um, and you don't need it, okay? Unless you're going to record a hundred piece orchestra and you need a hundred tracks, uh, you want it to be super stable um, and you work in Hollywood for big, big, big name record label, then yeah, you probably should get an HD rig because it's great for that kind of thing. Pro Tools LE or Pro Tools Empowered, which is the same version of Pro Tools, only you can use it in audio software, um, is a great deal. It's full featured. I use it day in and day out to do all my projects. I write in it, I record in it, I edit, I mix, I master, I collaborate with it, I take it to other studios. It's all you need. So. Clearing that up, it's full feature. Don't be confused by the LE. And I, I, I'm i going to bet you right here that this is the end of 2009. I bet in the next year or so, they might even change the name to Pro Tools Native. Um, cause some people are confused about it. But regardless, it's not limited. Should you jump ship, Dan, from Sonar to Pro Tools or anyone else who's in a similar boat? It really depends. Sonar is a great program. I, I've got a friend who lives in the Philippines who does production work and mixes and uses nothing but a PC and Sonar and he's he does phenomenal work. It's awesome. I mean, it, it's, it's so good uh, because he's good and because he's using a tool very well and because he's a great musician and has a great ear. Uh, I used to have Sonar and it wasn't for me. I thought it was too cumbersome of a program and I really got into Pro Tools because it's simple. Uh, it only has two windows. You've got a mix window and an edit window, that is it. Um, it's deep, so you can get real deep into it. It's really full featured, like I said. It's got so many resources out there because everyone has it, everyone uses it, that there's a million books at the bookstore, there's a million videos on how to use it, there's a million things on YouTube. Uh, I write a blog on it and I use Pro Tools, so there's guys like me out there that use Pro Tools, so there's a million resources to help you learn it better. And if you're like me, that's going to help you out. And then four, everyone's got it in their studios. All the pro studios have it. Everyone uses it. So if you record something in it, uh, you don't have to export out your tracks or use um, another file system to get them into different software. You can just bring your actual hard drive or thumb drive with the session on it, just like you had it on your little laptop. And you can open it up in a pro studio on their HD rig or their LE rig, whatever they have, or their pro tool system, and it's going to open up. There's going to be your tracks, your plugins, and you're going to be good to go. So it's so helpful to have that, especially if you want to get into recording professionally and you want to work with other people. 
Pro Tools knowledge will get you further than I would say Sonar knowledge or any of these other software only because it's more used. It's just like if you do photography, you gotta know Photoshop. Everyone uses Adobe Photoshop. There's other programs to edit photos, but if you don't know Photoshop, you're kind of limited. You might as well get it and learn it. It's the same with Pro Tools. So in a sense, uh, if you don't like Sonar, Dan, if it's not working for you or if the interface isn't working for you, spend, sell it. Sell it on eBay for a couple hundred bucks and pick up for 295 bucks Pro Tools LE with an inbox to the mini version. It's two channels. I talked about it on my blog in a two-part post. It's got a mic pre, direct box basically for your guitars and bass, uh, line-ins for your keyboard. It's USB so it can work on a Mac or PC. You don't have to have FireWire if you don't have it. It's self-powered. It's portable. It sounds great and it comes with Pro Tools. Everything you need to make music from the beginning to the end. It's great. I recommend it, I push it, and you can't beat the deal. It's so, so good. So, uh, in a way, yeah, I would say jump ship, man. Sell your old gear so you don't have to fork out more money. It's going to be so cheap. Um, I've used Sonar. I have Logic. I've used Logic. There's so many great programs out there. I'm not trying to knock them. I'm just trying to say I use Pro Tools for a reason. I recommend it for beginners and professionals alike for a reason. Um, it's, it's top of the pile for a reason. Um, but whatever you're using, it doesn't really matter as long as you learn it. You don't act like that's what's limiting you, and you just get after it. Read my blog, grab a $100 mic, get a guitar, get a keyboard, plug it in, and just go crazy and, and make good music. You can do it. It doesn't cost a lot of money. Don't get wrapped up in the details, all right? So I like to push Pro Tools, but at the end of the day, use whatever you're comfortable with and just make good music, okay? Hope that helped. Keep reading the blog. Keep sending me your questions. I hope to do some specifics on acoustic guitar recording. You know, some people have asked about that, mic placement. Um, so be on the lookout for that in weeks to come. I wish you all the best. Have a great day.